Hello everybody, welcome back. My name's Matt here at the Atlantic Firearms Channel. Today, we're looking at something very interesting. Love the AKs out here in the world, and today we're looking at something quite unique. This is a special purpose weapon, or this is a weapon made for foreign weapons training and for contract use. We're looking at an M70 AB2 built by Century Arms. Century Arms assembled these firearms in the States using a US receiver and a US barrel making these guns for foreign, foreign weapons training and contract use, uh, we really honestly don't know where because that's part of the way that the program works is they're not to be revealed where these things are used and what the, exactly they are used for. But it is really cool. And something else like that of probably eight or 10 years ago, we had also seen some really nice contract Wasser rifles that we also did acquire from uh, Century at that point in time and they were very popular had a lot of historical stuff behind them and these are really no different they are also very cool so let's take a couple of minutes and talk about some of the neat things with these rifles so one of the most noticeable features about these rifles that you'll see here is of course they're all underfolding rifles but you can see that some of these do have an accessory mount on the barrel and some of them do not um, that's one of the major defining factors here. Outside of that, they really are very much the same gun. Um, they have the grenade launcher sight on there. They have bayonet lug. They have a 14 millimeter threaded barrel at the end. Um, of course, you have the bulge trunnion like you usually have on the Yugo pattern M70 rifles, black polymer furniture, just cool guns. They all have some wear in them. Some of them have a little bit of pitting and stuff like that. They all have the black furniture. Um, you all also will notice that some of the um, takedown pins or this takedown release pin in the back is present or not. It's not a uh, critical piece to the function of the gun. However, we did notice that some of those were not on some of these in the course of looking them over. Um, there were also some different markings. You can see the particular rifle I have in my hand does not have a marking on the rear sight, but some of them do. Some of them are marked Zastava. Yugoslavia there and again some are not. Something else that I thought was really interesting was there is a lot of weld mark present on the front sight base and with these firearms being used for you know special uh, weapons training or foreign weapons training and for contract use a lot of training there you're using blanks and blank firing adapters. I can see blank firing adapters being installed onto these firearms and then permanently attached using the weld method for safety um, while they are using these in the course of training. Of course, they have all um, had the blank firing adapters removed and they all do now have a slant brake installed on the end, but you can still see that there was something permanently attached there previously. And that's part of the history, which I think is really cool with these rifles. It's awesome to see stuff that has been used before and has a little bit of character and wear to it. It's really different than something that's brand new out of the box that has really no historic no history to it itself outside of the manufacturing of it um, all of these rifles have rack numbers that's one of the coolest things you can see the rack number on the bottom of the receiver and you can see it on every single one of these rifles on the table the rack number is basically painted over top of the serial number in that area and um, it does look definitely unique and cool and could be something that would be a nice addition to your collection, especially if you like battlefield stuff or some stuff with some character. Um, these, again, we were very lucky to have acquired some of these at the time frame that we did. Usually things like this are extremely limited supply. So being able to get our hands on some of these, uh, we are very thankful for that. And we definitely encourage you to take a look and let us know your thoughts about cool contract rifles and other things that are used that have a little bit more history than just your average off the shelf item. Please let us know down in the comments below. We always appreciate those comments and your support and you tuning in, watching the channel, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks again.